You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Today I have Mr. Downtown, Mr. Parade, Mr. John Marion. Welcome, John. How, How you, doing? you doing, Mac? It's that time of year again. It sure is. But this time it's a 30th anniversary of the holiday parade in downtown Brockton. Yeah, where did time go, huh? I don't know. You and I have been around for quite a bit of it. Um, it's all started out with Rotary, John Drystadt, Hugo Paparo, and then the Downtown Brockton Association took it over, and the rest is history. 125th of Edgar last year, and now 30th anniversary of the parade. What is new and different? Yeah, we're just building on a great momentum. Mm -hmm. The whole idea that uh, Rotary started this way back when, um, and we were really fortunate enough to take the ball and run with it for the last, you know, maybe 25 or so years. We've just tried to make this a family-inclusive community event and uh, build on it every year to the point where we have a two-day event basically this year, and we've really interconnected uh, the community with uh, the public schools and families and children, and I really think that uh, based on our cultural diversity to include all of the people that live here um, and welcome that cultural diversity is the strength of this event. So you said two-day event. It starts off on Friday with the reading. Uh, James Edgar makes an appearance, and over where is that this year? So this year we're going to do it at City Hall. City Hall, okay. Um, we call it a night with James Edgar, and mm -hmm. it's it's fantastic. We did it last year for the first time. Uh, a, we've taken a story that I've written about James Edgar, uh, part fact, part fiction, and Lynn Smith and I have adapted it into a children's version, and uh, we read that last year to the kids at uh, the War Memorial. This year, I know that a lot of people noticed last year that there were new decorations downtown. It's part of this whole renaissance that's going on. Right. And um, City Hall Plaza was all lit up with white snowflakes. The, the whole Main Street was all candy canes. Mm -hmm. uh, this year, uh, we want to bring attention to that whole City Hall Plaza, that whole renovation, the $4 million, the open air. Right. So we'd like to bring most of the events to the City Hall area. And that's why we brought the Edgar Reading to City Hall, and it's going to start at 6 o'clock on Friday night, and it's open to the public. Okay. And then besides that, they're going to light the, the, the Christmas tree right there at City Hall Plaza. It's a real tree. That's correct. It's okay. one of two real trees now. Mm -hmm. uh, the mayor, uh, Larry Raleigh, it's just incredible. I think, you know, once again, the momentum has built to the point where everybody's all in. And I must give you credit for a lot of this because you were in when there wasn't a lot of people in. You were one of the first ins when everybody was out. First thing I ever worked on when I came to Cable in 94. So, mm -hmm. and you've continued to be supportive of us. And I think as a result, now it's just become, uh, let's all get in. Who can do what and who can do better? And that's what's happened with uh, Larry and uh, City Hall. We asked for those decorations. We got beautiful ones last year, first time in 30 years. Mm -hmm. And now this year, we're going to be putting LED lights on the actual light poles themselves. And so all of Main Street will be lit up in LEDs okay. and will continue into the year. But going back to that Friday night event, uh, we will start with the, uh, the appearance of what James Edgar's store looked like in 1890. Right. Okay. Right. And we'll get into a, a night before Christmas. The mayor will read that. Okay. Uh, we will have Brock Capella performing songs. We will have the Brockton Symphony Quintet there. They will be in the background, kind of like uh, as they would be in a department store. Right. Uh, Brock Capella will also sing uh, a song that I created for James Edgar. It's the James Edgar Jingle. Okay. And after we um, read the uh, James Edgar, of course, himself, which is uh, uh, Mr. O'Connor from Massasoit. He's going to be James Edgar again. Okay, good. All right, and uh, at the end, when the children chant, we believe, we believe with their candy cane, Santa will make an appearance in and then escort them out to one of the two spruce trees now that we have that are real, and we'll light that on City Hall Plaza. Is it true that Santa's going to register you to vote at the same time? Um, there's been rumors of that, but the election's over, Mark. I know. Well, so there's, there's always an election. The next election oh, starts I see. the yeah, next yeah, day. Yeah. Um, so, so that's the, the night before the parade. 
It's the night and before. The parade November is, 25th. The parade, is there a, is a difference with this, and we have five minutes left, I just got the cue. There's a difference this year a little bit with the Santa hat challenge, I heard. I don't know this. What, what It's decorated hats or something like so that? So Santa hat challenge. We want to okay. challenge everybody to decorate their own Santa hat this year. Okay. Okay, and come down with their own Santa hat, and we're going to pick uh, the most creative Santa hat from whatever child is wearing that, and uh, that wonderful hat and child is going to ride with Santa on the sleigh. And that's right before the parade. That will Saturday. be... The Santa Hat Challenge will start at 12 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Please come down and let everybody know. The more the merrier. And then around 1245, leading into 1 o'clock, we'll take a big picture with everybody's Santa Hat and breaking the record. And the parade will start at 1 o'clock. Okay. And uh, the parade, anything new and different for the parade this year? It just seems to get bigger and better. More schools add in. More bands add in. Um, there's always a surprise. Well, our, our theme this year is Broadway musicals, and there are a lot of floats that have uh, that have wanted to come into this uh, into this parade because of that. And th we are offering three prizes this year: mm -hmm. a fifteen hundred dollar first prize, thousand dollar second prize, five hundred dollar third prize. Uh, it's become very competitive. Many schools are involved. Many businesses are involved, um, and it's become a great, great uh, avenue to bring everybody together. Great, great reason to bring everybody together. And, of course, everything starts off at City Hall at 9 o'clock with pictures with Santa Claus. And they have so the, the bazaar inside with all City the different Hall will vendors have and things like that. Are uh, you bringing it all back to City Hall at the end of the parade? Because last year we couldn't because it was still under construction, I think. Or was that the year It will before? end it right, right in well, and around City Hall, but there okay. won't be anything after at City Hall. You Plaza. do that later in the year. You do like a, the, an award ceremony for James Edgar and you present the other awards. Winter's End Ball in February. There you go. But... One other thing that we've added this year, and uh, we have a cover contest, which is an uh, art cover contest, which is um, sponsored by Harbor One. Mm -hmm. and we also have the James Edgar Essay Contest, which is sponsored by Good Samaritan Medical Center. And um, this year, we're going to take the art and the essays, and we're going to display them over at Trinity in the Enzo Flat Galleries. Okay. So we're going to open that up on Friday with all the art displayed uh, from at least 5 o'clock on, and hopefully the people will come they will visit that and then go over to City Hall. But we're going to try to keep that open for at least another week or two. Okay. So everybody can come down and just take a look at all the fantastic art, the talent that we have in the schools, whether it's reading, writing, art, everything. Is it too late for anybody to get into the parade? Never too late. Never too late. Never too late. There's a, there's, there is a woman on our committee that beats me over the head and says, we have to have a cutoff date. I say, all in, whenever. Let's go. So call me on my phone, 508 612 2688. Uh, if you can't uh, get me, you just go online and register usachristmastown.org and go to the uh, parade registration form. But calling me, we'll get it right in. Okay. We're up to 70 uh, registrations so far, which is uh, right about where we are about this time. But more quality this year. Real quick, one minute left, and I need about 20 seconds of it. Do you still need volunteers to help with, on parade day? We absolutely need volunteers. Okay. And during the parade mostly because a lot of people that we have go to the parade and they're in the parade. So I need about 12 people dedicated to the lots for uh, registrations and where, uh, where those people are going to set up. Couldn't, couldn't have explained it better, John. We're looking forward to it. We do the, uh, the Thanksgiving Day game between Brockton and Bridgewater Raynham. I know you're involved in that too. And then two days later, well, actually, really one day later, you got the Friday night events, you got the Saturday parade, and uh, the bright light shines upon Brockton. As so. it should. Thanks. Always a pleasure, Mark. Thanks thank for you for what very you're much. doing, and we'll be there. We're always there. We love it. Well, we want to thank you and thank Brockton Public Schools and thank the mayor's office, right? And thank everybody in the city of Brockton for just being a part of a great event and being a part of a great city. So thank you. Happy holidays. Happy. I, I love it. You are the most pumped person when it comes to the parade. And from day one, from the day I met you to, to now. So we'll do it up. We'll have fun. And uh, we'll go from there. Get there early. There's over a million expected. Sounds good. I love that. I love that. <laughs> that's officially certified by an accounting agency. Um, you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.